What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Weapons Free 86. Uh, it's been a while since I've updated you guys on my iron garage and I think I'm going to catch you up with the Supra and the FRS. Uh, today <laughs> I got my brand new Advan GT wheels put on the Supra with some Falcon uh, Azini's tires. I also added some Project Kick slug nuts, some OEM Supra brakes, and we go back here. I put on my HKS uh, Hypermax SP coilovers. All this stuff was new except for the brakes. I traded a guy those old SRT8 Brembo brakes uh, plus cash. Well, he gave me cash on top of the OEM brakes. These are the old coilovers that I took off the Supra. They're like the old style HKS um, Hypermax. I believe they're like drags or something. I took those off, put on these new ones. The front looks perfect, but unfortunately, they don't have my size in the rear Admin GTs in my color. Uh, they're not even in stock in Japan, so they have to make new ones. Uh, also, the FRS made it back from Global Time Attack in one piece, even though I had that pretty crazy spin. If you haven't seen that video, you should probably check that one out. So I almost crashed into a car and a wall. Um, <laughs> I got some JDM under panels, which these come factory in the Subaru BRZ and Toyota 86 in Japan. They're supposed to reduce a measurable amount, amount of drag, according to Subaru. I also got an 11 pound Braille battery kit from FT86 Speed Factory. That's going on the FRS. I ordered a Marsh Powerhouse carbon hood, which is not here yet. I'll uh, post a picture of that here in a minute. And also I ordered a Voltex Type 2 wing, uh, but that's gonna take a couple months to get here as well. So the FRS is officially done. I'm done ordering parts for the car um, until the car blows up or the clutch goes out. I'm not doing anything else to it after I get those items so these items installed and the other items in and installed. Uh, I'll start shifting my focus towards the Supra. I think once I, I'm probably gonna have to get some temporary wheels to put on the back of the car since Japan is sold out of the wheels that I need. And uh, I wanna drive this car. It's completely, it runs, uh, the brakes work. I, well, other than the guy not sending me the banjo bolts for the brakes, I spent 60 bucks on four banjo bolts and eight washers from Toyota. I went and got OEM parts for it. And those are on the car now. But the brakes work, I just need to bleed them. And then this car is ready to drive. All I need is rear wheels, which I'm trying to get some temporary ones, like I said, just so I can drive the car. And then I think I'm going to do an AM Infinity 6. Uh, like my last Supra, Vlad I think made around 450 wheel horsepower. Vlad's my tuner, he also is a has a, a Quicksilver Supra with over a thousand horsepower, but he was able to make about 450 on the stock twin turbos with everything stock except for the EMS. And I think I'm gonna go that route for the time being until I can get the car looking like I want it. Um, not a lot I wanna do to the Supra. I do wanna do big brakes. I wanna do the same endless kit that I had on my last one. So I'm also replacing a lot of OEM stuff that wasn't 100% um, acceptable for my dream build, dream super build. I replaced this OEM cowl with a brand new one. Uh, got it off eBay from a user in like Abu Dhabi or something, but he has a, a stockpile of OEM parts and I bought one from him. Uh, I fixed the fender liner, which isn't a big deal, but I put some actual Toyota clips into it instead of just having it with some, uh, drywall screws, which the previous owner had in there for whatever reason. Uh, I think I'm gonna do an exhaust next. I'm looking at a powerhouse I'm used titanium, which is like two grand. I don't really wanna spend that much on exhaust, but I'm trying to have this Supra be unlike any other Supra that I've ever seen. I'm not going for crazy horsepower numbers, but I'm looking for authentic rare parts to put on this car. So I went with the Advan GTs. You don't see a lot of Advan GTs on the Supra. Honestly, the only one I've ever seen is Max Lorito's Supra out in Japan, if you guys have seen one of my last uh, Japan videos. 
Max Cerritos car was in there and he had the same wheels. So I'm gonna go with the Endless Big Brake Kit. Probably the Powerhouse of Muse exhaust, AM Infinity 6, and uh, I might just chill like that with the Supra being like that. I'm kind of, I, I don't know, I'm kind of in between. Like, do I want to go for 650 horsepower like my last one or 700 horsepower? Or just keep it re relatively stock because it's, it's kind of pointless having that much horsepower on the street because one, street racing is illegal, and two, um, if you can't drive a car at its stock power level, you don't really need more horsepower than that. And everyone thinks that you need a thousand horsepower on a Supra. You don't need a thousand horsepower on a Supra. Most people can't even push a car with only 200 horsepower to its limits. Uh, and I don't do time attack. I track the car and I haven't found the limits of this 200 horsepower car. So I don't really think it's necessary to add 400 horsepower to a car until I do reach those limits. So that's where we're at now. And this is just a, a quick update video since I haven't posted one in a while. I did, well, I was going to post uh, some install videos for the brakes and the coilovers and everything, but unfortunately I accidentally deleted or something happened where I didn't have a whole, like two or three middle sections. I have me opening the box and then I have a part where I was lowering the car down on new wheels. So. Obviously, I didn't post that video because it would have been incomplete and kind of a waste of your time to watch it. So, that's where we're at. That's where we are with the Supra and the FRS. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.